Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another pitch for Switch video. And this time I'm going to be talking about a game that was made by Namco. And I think it was originally only on the Xbox, but um, I don't think it actually needs to be on the Xbox because this is a very Japanese sort of game. <laughs> um, breakdown. And it's, this is a game that I have. I'm like, I, I actually like it. I'm like, it's cheesy as all hell, but I actually like the game a lot. Um, you're basically playing as this, if I remember correctly, because it's been a minute since I played it. Um, you're playing as this dude who's a, basically like a soldier inside a military compound. And like like part of like some sort of ex- experimentation on building super soldiers. Um, <clears throat> and then there's this one dude who I think has... Who is like the ultimate super soldier that you basically you deal with? You run into him in the beginning of the game, and then um, <laughs> after that, you're trying to survive along with this. I can't remember the lady, the woman's name, but this is basically like your sidekick or your helper or whatever you want to consider. Um, <clears throat> you and her are trying to escape where you are, trying to break out of this compound. Which is, I think, is actually a skyscraper. <laughs> Some odd crap, but you're trying to get out of this compound, and there have been like a lot of people massacred and killed and all sorts of bull crap. And you have these special powers that you have to utilize, and like, and again, like <clears throat> all of it, like this is very a very Japanese game. That's why I'm surprised it was exclusive to Xbox at the time, like the OG Xbox. And I'm like, wow, really? Like this is on Xbox? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, wow, this is uh, a little odd for <laughs> for uh, the Xbox crowd. Uh, but the game itself, like the gameplay, is pretty good. I mean, yeah, there's some issues. It can be a little uh, <clears throat> a little janky sometimes, uh, <laughs> and you can kind of sometimes glitch through floors because this happened to me quite a few times. So I think the code needs to be cleaned up on the game. But for the most part, it's actually pretty fun. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, <clears throat> this game would have been better served on PlayStation. <laughs> like, like, at the time, it would have been better served on the PS2. Um, but it was only on the Xbox. So I was like, whatever. I, I played it. It's a good game. I like it. Um, and I would like to see it end up on the Switch. And I think Namco should go back and reprise it unless Microsoft owns rights to it. And then Microsoft needs to do something with it. Because they have a lot of IPs they don't do anything with. Um, <clears throat> but either way, uh, I'd see this game coming to the Switch. And I think it would do really well if it was put on it. Like, you go back, clean it up a little bit. Uh, redo the character sprays. Please, my goodness, redo the voice work. The voice work is horrible in this game. I am not going to lie. There's like one good character voice throughout this whole game, and I think it's the, the the girl that helps you. I think that's like literally the only good character voice in this game. So redo all the voice work, do it all over, go back and fix it. It needs to be changed. <laughs> so, like, like that. Oh gosh, that, that, mm. Whew, worse than Shinmu. <laughs> that's what I'm putting out there. It's worse than Shinmu. Shinmu is not great. Like Shinmu was good at the time, but, but like no, it's. <laughs> You go back and go back and uh, listen to Shenmue. That game, gosh, that the voice work in there is like, oh my gosh, do you see that happening over there? Like that's what it sounds like. It's like the, the characters, are, the voices are horrible in this game. But I like the game is good, but the voice work is just ugh, it's disgusting. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best way I can put it. The voice work in this game is disgusting. <laughs> so whole new voice track i maybe re-script some of them because there are also some some bits of dialogue just sound ugh, just sound odd when you put them out there and they're like i know what you're trying to say but that's not what you just said <laughs> but again that that's again that's just me that's just me thinking <clears throat> my mind rolling i'm sorry but like when your character dialogue kind of sounds like oh you need to what when they're, basically what they're trying to tell you oh drink this soda to replenish your energy and somebody says something like uh something about carbohydrates and stuff i'm like you could have just said you need in, you need new some more energy just drink some soda just break a break a soda machine and get some soda 
not a hard thing to understand. I, I, I really, it's not difficult to understand at all. Not really at all. Just go ahead and say that, and and we can move on. Instead of trying to over explain it to the point where I I lose interest in the conversation and don't want to hear what you have to say anymore. <laughs> um. <clears throat> This game could definitely use, utilize the HD rumble, like, allowing you to feel the different types of uh, power-ups that your character... Because he gets, he gets multiple different power-ups, if I remember correctly. So you can utilize the, the HD rumble to signify how different attacks feel and how, they, how they're how uh, they translated on screen, how it feels to what, what your character is doing. And uh, um, <clears throat> to make it uh, feel different for the different weapons that your character can utilize. Um... <clears throat> And when you're touching different objects, see how it feels to like, like again, the example of breaking the sewing machine, how it feels to break a sewing machine versus hitting uh, a mutant enemy in the face. So like there are a lot of things that they could do with it that, that would be cool and, and could be utilized very well. Um, obviously, I would love to see gyro controls added to something like this uh, where you can utilize where you can utilize it for individual like individual joy cons where you can use it to to actually do your character's punches and swings or with like say the pro controller where you can tilt the controller in certain directions in order to help your aiming either one of those is fine so like all of this stuff can be really well incorporated into this game and can make it something viable for the switch and like and the game is uh I'm trying to think how old is this you know what let me look at my case <laughs> This game came out in 2003, so it's a 15-year-old game. So, like, an update to that and fixing the uh, dialogue issues and maybe uh, working a code over and fixing that, the game could be amazing. Like, <clears throat> you could take it from being a mediocre product to being something that tons of people want to play and make it a viable game for the Switch, at least in my opinion. That's what I think. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games. And peace out.